Hey, Northwest Fishing Reports fans. So, bad news, the rain picked up and we weren't able to get any surf perch, but you know, that's okay, because we came home with 40 beautiful razor clams, 20 per person. And now, we're gonna go ahead and show you guys how to clean them. You might notice that these guys are missing their shell. Well, that's for a very good reason. There's two different ways to remove a razor clam from the shell. Number one, you can take a paring knife or an oyster knife and you can just pop open the shell and kind of trim the meat away from the shell all the way around. That's, a, that's one way to separate it. Number two, you can do as we've done. You can take a pot of boiling water and a pot of ice water and you blanch the razor clams for just about five, 10 seconds, just until the shell pops open and releases the meat. And then you immediately want to take them out of the boiling water and put them directly into ice water. That way they stop cooking. Razor clams are extremely prone to overcooking. So it's very important if you're going to blanch them, put them immediately in ice water. So that's what we've done. We've got our 40 beautiful razor clams. You notice just how meaty these guys are. This is just pretty much all meat, folks. Razor clams are just delicious. They are really a Northwestern delicacy. They make really great clam chowder. They also make really great, great clam strips, razor clam fritters. They make, they go really great in pasta dishes. Uh, there's not much here that beats fresh razor clam. Let's dive into it and I will show you how to clean your limit. All this white stuff, this is all good meat. What you want to keep in mind is you want to cut away all this dark stuff. So you want to cut away the tip of the siphon there. And you want to cut away, this is the dent pouch. So the parts of a razor clam, this is the body, this is the foot, and this is the siphon. It's all good meat. So a good way to first start is you want to grab your razor clam and you'll see sort of a seam right in here. You want to cut along the seam. Highly recommend scissors for this but you can use a knife. And then you want to just go ahead and stick your blade of your scissors in there up in the siphon and then cut the siphon open. And as I said we want to cut away all the dark stuff so we're going to cut away the, just the tip of that siphon. And then what this does, this opens up the razor clam. A little bit of sand in there, that's okay. And then there's actually a second tube. You'll notice that these razor clams have two tubes in there. So what you're gonna do is stick your knife right in that opening there. Stick it all the way down that tube, that siphon. You'll notice the blade going in between there. And then just cut that siphon open. So now you'll have your siphon completely butterflied. Now what we want to do is we want to separate the foot from the body. So you're going to go ahead, this is your foot, you're just going to slice it right off there, right at the base of the foot. And then I like to come in from the top here, I'll close the razor clam, and all this dark stuff right here, I'm going to cut it out. Snip right there, and then snip right there. Cut out that dark stuff. And there we go. We just have the gills to cut out and now we are going to go ahead and cut off the gills. And there we are. Cleaned it up just a tad and you have a cleaned razor clam. So this is all good meat. This is going to go in our meat pile. Don't forget about the foot. So what you want to do with the foot to clean it is you're going to want to cut it face up this way. You'll see a little little knob right there face up this way and then stick your blade of your scissor right in there all the way down and then cut it in half as best you can all the way up to the tip again you're gonna to want to butterfly it all the way up kind of open it up butterfly it all the way and there you go that's a clean foot so what we're gonna to want to do at the end is we're gonna rinse these but you can kind of clean it up with your fingers as we go Makes it a little bit less tedious if you can assembly line it, if you can get a, get a few people to help you. Say, hey, come over for a razor clam dig. I'll uh, assembly line it, I'll get you some. <laughs> get you some meat, so. It's always good to kind of assembly line it if you can. Thank you so much for joining us out here today at Ocean Shores. We had a blast filming for you guys. We really hope that you guys learned something about how to raise your clam. 
Uh, really look forward to seeing you out here while it's in this nice 20 clam limit. Definitely want to take advantage of that. The clamming's great. They're delicious. They make such great clam chowder, clam fritters, clam strips. The possibilities are endless. No, really a great treat we have here on the on the northwest to be able to get fresh razor clams during the season. Thank you so much for joining us. It's been a long day. We're going to go ahead and enjoy our razor clam dinner. We'll see you on the next one.